Horizon Creatives is the latest update for Horizon 5. I'm going to tell you in this video everything you need to know. The new cars, the huge event lab changes. Let's jump straight into it. I still have one Italian's car pack code to give away that the winner has still not claimed. For a chance to win, comment your gamer tag and make sure you're subscribed. I'll pick someone at random. We'll start off with the festival playlist as that has some of the new cars. So for 80 points for the entire series, you can get the first new car, the BMW 850 CSI, and for 160 points, the Porsche 911 C2 Gunther Works. The first week, which is summer, for 20 points, you can get the second new car, the BMW M3 from 2021. You may have seen, if you're subscribed, that we did a few videos where this car was leaked last week. We had a feeling it was coming, and we were right. For 40 points, you can get the Mercedes-Benz AMG GT. The Forzathon shop for that first week has the Mercedes AMG 1, the TVR Cerbera Speed 12, the Cuckoo Car Horn, and the Spike Jumper Jacket. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. The second week, which is autumn, for 20 points you can get the third new car, the BMW iX from 2022, and for 40 points, the Emery 356C from 1964. The Forzathon shop for that second week has the Koenigsegg Regera, the McLaren 570S Coupe, the Robot Emote, and the Lab Coat Jacket. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that second week. The third week, which is winter, for 20 points you can get the fourth new car of this month, the BMW M2 from 2023. I like that car. And for 40 points, the BMW E92 M3 GTS. The Forzathon shop for that fourth week, sorry, third week, has a Mercedes-Benz SSK from 1929, the Audi R8 V10 Plus, the Builder's Outfit and the Builder's Hat. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third week. The fourth week, which is spring. For 20 points, you can get the fifth new car of this month, the BMW i4 from 2022, and for 40 points, the Porsche 550. The Forzathon shop for that final week has the Gatti Veyron, the M12 Warthog, the Halo theme Part 1 car horn, and the Star 27 ankle socks. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth and final week. Now there are some more new cars and more new stuff. It's a pretty damn good update to be honest, one of the best so far ever. Now the Corvette E-Ray from 2024 will be available for anybody who pre-orders the Forza Motorsport Premium Edition and plays it on October the 5th or downloads and plays Forza Motorsport through Game Pass Ultimate starting October 10th. So it seems like if you play Forza Motorsport, the new game, you will get the 2024 Corvette E-Ray. Now there are two more new cars with Playground Games collaboration with Rivian. Explore and adventure anywhere you want by unlocking the 2022 Rivian RS1. Set your route and get the RS1 on week 4 of the festival playlist by completing the Stadium Supercross Event Lab. Now there is another Rivian coming to the game and that is the Rivian R1T. On week 2, which is autumn, complete the Mudslingers Scramble event lab on the festival playlist and that is what will unlock you the 2022 Rivian R1T. So that is the 8th new car of this month, I believe. AC Schneitz, Schnitzer, I don't know how to say that, makes an appearance and brings body parts compatible with two BMWs. The 2015 BMW... BMW the 2015 BMW i8 is going to get this AC body kit. Here's a screenshot on the screen of what it looks like. And the 2018 BMW M5 is also getting it as well. Here's a picture on screen of what that looks like. So it's a very subtle, I like them as I like them to be honest. I like these type of body kits. Now they are also returning the Forza branded wide body kit for the, the BMW 850 CSI from 1995. That is returning to the game as per this update. Now that is not the last piece of customization. There are a bunch of new rims in this update as well. As you can see on screen, I don't have pictures of them, unfortunately, but they've really been 
I think it was only a couple of months ago they added loads of new rims and now we've got even more so they really are smashing it with the rims lately to be quite honest with you so yeah new customization now the main part of this update which we've not even spoken about yet is the event lab features there are four new event lab features and then a load of miscellaneous props changes and features and stuff like that so let's talk about selection mode this is where you will be able to sort of group and multi-select props together and duplicate them. Move multiple props at once so you don't have to sort of reassemble your creation again. You can move them, duplicate them, and you'll also be able to reuse these groups of props that you previously put together without having to start from scratch again. Now, another one is prefabs. This is kind of similar, kind of an extension to what we just spoke about, but it is an assortment of props saved together to make a new mega prop. And you can save these props and create this as a prefab and share it with other players worldwide. So if I was to go and make a cool building out of props, I can then save that as a mega prop, as a prefab they've called it, and you guys can go and search for this prop that I've made and use that in your own event labs. That is huge. That is going to add a lot of customization to your event labs. And it's also another level of being able to get XP, credit payouts for people using your mega props, I should say. Now, the third new event lab addition is custom flyers. Previously, when creating an event lab, the, the flyer, which is basically the thumbnail of the event lab, would just be generated by Forza. It would have a generic thing. Well, well, now you can take a photo of your custom event lab and have that as the thumbnail or what they're calling flyer for the event. Very similar to what the concept was that we viewed in my video last week. Subscribe so you don't miss any videos like that. It's actually going to be very similar to this. It seems like they may have actually gone across, gone off this um, suggestion hub suggestion. Now, the biggest one of them all, Event Lab Island. Event Lab Island is a brand new location specifically for creating Event Lab content. It is a two kilometer squared flat concrete platform surrounded by ocean. Since Event Lab Island is its own location, you will be able to add more props to each event that you create as it has an increased prop budget it can be accessed through the in-game map and that is massive um, if you're an event app creator or even if you're not you must like the idea of having a blank canvas with a forza creator tool to make whatever map you want with whatever props you want you can go and find buildings that other people have made that is going to be massive the possibilities are insane there are new props which are coming as well and um, there's a petrol station a variety of shapes like cones cubes cylinders spheres you can see on screen and there are different types of surfaces that you can have in your events as well like snow grass and asphalt so you can you're going to be able to create anything you want out of these shapes and uh, services that the game will now have. A few miscellaneous changes, you are now able to change up your checkpoint markers in your event lab races with different kind of flares and weather and time of day can be changed as well within the blueprint builder. Some of the current existing procs that have attachment nodes are now easier to move around and can snap together now. Um, the nodes are also in multiple sizes. Now, the original ones were larger and designed for the Hot Wheels track pieces, whereas the new smaller ones work much better with some of these smaller props. So a few quality of life changes with the snapping together there. And you can now see multiple pages of results that appear in Creative Hub when you're searching for new event labs to play. And as I said, you will have thumbnails and photos of the event before you even go in to see it. So that... Ooh, that's going to be fun, that is. Now, bugs and fixes. There's a lot of bugs and fixes as usual. Here are the, the noted ones. There's going to be loads more than this. We usually cover this in my next video, so stay subscribed for that. But that, guys, is the full Horizon Creatives update. Make sure to let me know in the comments section below what your favourite thing is about this update, and I will see you all later.